Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Ch gentleman yields back and Stansley. Stansley. Oh, 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 yeah, yes, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, I, I'm beginning to, I, I'm beginning to feel like a little bad for the majority. Like, I, I, I just feel guilty because you guys have come today to try to prove that the Biden administration in coordination with Twitter is impeaching, <laughs> impugning free speech. And the problem is, is that Donald Trump, he, he is just this thing that hangs around your neck. Because at every turn, he undermines whatever credibility you want to have on this subject. I mean, Donald Trump and his administration, it's been proven, reached out to Twitter to take down tweets that got under his skin, the tough guy, Donald Trump, right? He got called the B word. Let's reach out to Twitter. Let's get the tweet taken down. You guys have no credibility. You have none. Your own guy taking free speech off of Twitter. You know, I also don't understand this bipolar thing that you're doing with Joe Biden. So every day you guys tweet out, Joe Biden is boring. He's sleepy. Every day you say it on TV. Now, you want to tell the American people Joe Biden is an international super mastermind along with his son Hunter. I mean, it's just bananas. You know, the Trump family is getting billions of dollars of loans from foreign governments by using their White House relationships. Any questions? Any questions on that? No, I didn't think so. You, you want to know if the Trump family made any money selling PPE during the pandemic out of the West Wing? Any questions about that? No, I, I didn't think so. But let's move on to Hunter Biden's laptop. Your leaker, I always love this by the way, you guys are against leakers unless they're leaking things you like. Your leaker, Matt Isaac, and I love, you know, have you seen this guy? I mean, this is, he's like a Radio Shack dot matrix guy who copied files off a private citizen's hard drive, okay? That's your entire theory is based off of. But I, I wanna use his words. This is his own words, your guy, your leaker the guy who gave you the information. There have been several attempts by several individuals to modify and insert fake data. I do know there has been multiple attempts over the past year and a half to insert questionable material into the laptop to pass off information or disinformation as coming, to the lap coming from the laptop. He continued, this is a major concern of mine because I fought tooth and nail to protect the integrity of the drive, and to jeopardize that is going to mean everything I sacrificed will be for nothing. Your guy, your leaker, questioning the integrity of the information you guys are peddling. By the way, why isn't he here? Bring him here. Let's ask him questions. And why haven't we seen the hard drive? You guys aren't shy. Why won't you show it to the American people? Let's talk about Twitter. Let's talk about God bless Elon Musk. See these? God bless the guy who is allowing Nazis and anti-Semitism to perpetrate Twitter. There's been a 66% increase of anti-Semitism on Twitter since Elon Musk set it free. Mr. Chairman, I agree with you. It's not fair to say all conservatives are Nazis. That's preposterous. That's not true. But your Lord and Savior Donald Trump is having tea and dinner with them at Mar-a-Lago. Nick Fuentes right here, who is a picture that is tweeted at me all the time saying Jews are a virus in response to my tweets. Donald Trump's having dinner with him. Nazis at Mar-a-Lago. And so, no, not all Republicans are Nazis, but I got, I got to tell you, Nazis seem really comfortable with Donald Trump. So I have questions about that, Mr. Chairman. Why is that? Why do I get these tweets? Let's talk about Kanye West, right? The chairman of the Judiciary Committee for three months praising Kanye West. We love Kanye, right? A Nazi, clearly now. It took months for that tweet to come down. How come? I mean, these are things I'd love to know. 
Is it because maybe they're your voters? I mean, they certainly aren't voting them for me. I yield back. Chair, recognize Mr. Langworthy for five.